What's happening, everyone? Fucking long time since Opinions and Assholes has been on the YouTube, so I thought I'd do one and upload it for you about the fights because I, I enjoyed the fight card the weekend. Uh, most fights were as I as, as I expected them, but uh, obviously the Aljo and Petrian wasn't expected. Uh, I want to start with the main event, right? I want to go through these quickly for you so you can get me opinions. I think the fight was brilliant. Uh, I think Izzy was still very technical. Uh, I had a feeling I didn't bet on I usually like a little bet on the fights but I didn't bet on this because I was thinking to myself can Izzy really knock him out or is Jan like a dog is Jan going to dra drag him into the fight and, and I thought Jan might take him down because Jan's got uh, he's a good black belt uh, he's a good grappler I know he's recently I know he uh, in the past trained with like Dean Lister and that and Dean Lister I fought one of Dean Lister's students and beat him there he's very good Dean Lister uh, so yeah, I enjoyed the fight. I thought the scorecards were absolutely incredible. I just don't know where these judges are plucking ten eight from them, lad. Like for you people, in my opinion, ten eight to like when it's domination. Like a ten eight round for me is domination. Like, and I didn't see none of that in in the in the five rounds. There was no either side that dominated. Izzy won the first few and then I, th I gave Jan three rounds and then Izzy two. I was being amicable. I think that's a word. Uh, <laughs> but there was no 10 8 rounds there. Where were the 10 8 rounds? Just being ruined. It's different to boxing. Boxing's already paid off. Canelo's already going to win any. It's all that shite. But in MMA, these, these judges are giving 10 8 rounds and there's no consequences. Why he's giving 10 8 rounds? You potentially like. It's it's ruining the sport. I, ten eight round is a proper fucking beat down to the other side. That's just my opinion. It's opinions and assholes. You can all give his opinions to me. Uh, but that that was a way of seeing a fight. I thought is he handled the loss uh, really well. He's a champion, isn't he? He's a proper you know. He's a champion. That's how you handle losses. You don't give no excuse, and you the better man won. And, and obviously on that night, I, I I gave the fight to Jan and Jan won. And uh, he deserves his respect, man. It's like he's taken out all the guys who want to fight. Uh, John Jones he's taking all them guys out before John gets to them so I want to see Jan versus Teixeira now I think that's going to be a great fight I actually think Teixeira could beat Jan he's fucking really well equipped in MMA uh, there's no point even talking about the Amanda Nunes fight with uh, Megan Megan's a brilliant fighter to be honest with you I thought she would have had a better chance I, I did think An Amanda would win but that girl is just an absolute phenomenon. She's a beast. She's getting better every fight. Every fight I see her, a technical ability has gone up. Don't forget about strength and size and, you know, who's got the best chin and I'm the toughest. A technical ability every fight goes up. She's just absolutely incredible. She's an inspiration to all men and women and all these gender neutrals, whatever's going on in the world now. But she's fucking... She, she needs to start fighting... She needs to start fighting men, honestly, and she beat half of them. I mean, I wouldn't start to fight her. She's absolutely incredible. Uh, so that's that. The Aljo Petra Yam fight. I know I, I gave Aljo a little bit of stick about an Oscar. I actually like Aljo. Uh, I think he's a good guy. I think he's a really good fighter. He he's sparky as well. Like he's got a bit of swagger to him. You know, he he, he knows how to sell a fight. Petra I, I I follow him sometimes on a. Uh, Watch what he does with training wise and that he's just an absolute workhorse. He just works, works, works. I know he spends time in Thailand. Uh, I didn't really think about this fight who was gonna win or not. I thought it was probably 50-50, maybe 60-40 to Petrian going in, just because of the gas tank. And I didn't know if Aljo could take him down and hold him down. You know, I don't know. It, I was before the fight I was thinking, oh, is it possible what? But Petrian was winning the fight. I'm not gonna Jan was winning the fight. Uh, I'll just call him Petri Jan. Was winning the fight. Uh, I thought the Nate was absolutely vicious. I know I said about an Oscar, but for anyone who's took knees, I've took knees, elbows, and and kicks to the face. And honest to God, like the horrid that Nate landed. It it was intentional. I'm not saying Petri Jan done it. Like, do you know what I mean? But it was intent. It was definitely an intentional knee. The knee was perfect. The technical, the the technique of the knee was unbelievable. You know, Borkhouse, Sanchai, Liam Harrison would be proud of the knee. Uh, I'm proud of it. It was brilliant. But Aljo definitely got hair from that knee. And, you know, obviously, this is how I think it would, you know, should have played out. Maybe just forget the belt. We'll, we, won't, we, won't, we won't go into belts. Just just get the fight rebooked as soon as possible if both guys are fit and ready to go. Uh, don't crown a champion. But, you know, Aljo, it is what it is. He's took it and whatever. Uh, so I had Petri winning on the scorecards uh, 
but Aljo was was I think Aljo was just gassing a little bit. Petrian's like pressure was just like Khabib's. It was he was like a workhorse. A uh, good fight, and then the next one I want to talk about. I don't want to go into all the fights. Was uh, how much Islam Makhachev? Uh, I think that's pronounced uh, correctly. Some guy just robbing robbing money out of a phone box where I'm parked right here. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about this, people. <laughs> yeah, Islam Makhachayev. Oh my god. I have never... Uh, you know, I don't get to wrestle or grapple much in my fights because I don't let people take me down and hold me down and I don't usually go for takedowns. You know, I know what I'm talking about. Spent many years in Brazil and I'm still... Every day, every day, I'm obsessed with wrestling and grappling. Islam is possibly the best grappler, one of the best grapplers I've seen. Like, oh my God, that pressure on top. He doesn't really punch. Just the pressure, you see what he does with his, like, shoulders and his hips and, like, transferring his weight one side to the other. Honest to God, phenomenal. Like, I think I seen, I don't know, if, I think DC was saying, like, hey, uh, he beats Khabib in the gym. I'm not sure how true that is. Like, I'm sure they have a proper war, but he's meant to be, like, the second coming of God in this the lightweight division. I think he's going to be a proper problem. I'm not big... I don't want to disrespect any of these top 10 guys in lightweight and big him up to be like, oh, he's this, that, but he's definitely going to be a problem. But, you know, these top fives in the lightweight, I'm a big fan of Charles Oliveira. Obviously, Dustin, you know, is my main man. Obviously, uh, I picked against him and went for him in the corner fight. I was a bit back and forth. I didn't know how his head was, but this is fighting, man. It's opinions and assholes, but the top the top five in lightweight is, is is disgustingly good. But Islam is definitely can definitely be one of them. I think he can be champion. You know, I would put money on him. Uh, impressive, but that's it. Uh, so give me your opinion. Say whatever you want. I'm not asked. Talk shit about my mum, or just give your opinion on the fights. I'm not asked. It's what it's for. Opinions and assholes. I don't get offended by anything you say. Don't get offended by anything I say. And that's just how we should all be. Live in harmony and just you know have a bit of beef, have a bit of banter. Uh, so yeah, belt a UFC card. Looking forward to my fight with Marvin on the uh, 10th of April. I think it's going to be a good fight. I think it's te technique versus brute strength. I think Marvin is just very, very tough. I think he works really hard. I think he wants it. I know he wants it because he keeps calling me out on Instagram. And you know, how much? Let's just see how much I want it and how good my technique is on the night. If I can school him, I think I can. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm training hard. I'm in my two dressing gowns now, black eyes, just waiting for a little, uh, just waiting for a little ting, and that's it. Peace out.